welcome to my new video how to travel slash road trip with a baby um, recently we went on a 10-day road trip in bosnia herzegovina montenegro and croatia and that was the first time we traveled with our basically newborn like a four months old and um, we were a bit like scared and um, like you know how she's gonna adapt and how everything is gonna work but it turned out like she's actually a really great road trip um, fellow so um, after being on that trip I just thought like okay let me just share my um, experience with you I put together a list of 10 tips um, how to make a road trip a, like with a baby a positive experience I want to add, of course, just because it worked for us doesn't mean it's going to work for everyone, but maybe you find at least one or two useful tips that is also going to work for you. So yeah, here we go. Um, here is my list of 10 tips. My tip number one, get a big car, because basically your car becomes your house or your home, because you're carrying so much stuff with you. Uh, we carried lots of stuff with us. Uh, we were traveling with hand luggage only because like uh, I think I said we flew to Dubrovnik and then from there we got our rental car but we had hand luggage only but also um, we were traveling with the travel system of our prom which is like the push chair and the car seat so the car seat we needed to take anyways because she had to sit there while we were driving and we didn't want to carry her all the time so that's why we also took the push chair of course the push chair was in the uh, in the boot and another bag and there were some groceries in between which i'm going to talk about in my second tip so the boot was full already so then the other bags were in the leg room and then of course you still want to sit a bit comfortable i was also breastfeeding during the trip so you you also want to sit a bit you know like you don't want to be like squeezed in the car and there's like here is like water and there's another bag and stuff so get a big car it's really essential so tip number two i would like to share with you stock up on groceries and all the baby essentials so every time when we carried on with our trip we made sure we have all of that with us first of all that is important since um you know you never know if you got stuck somewhere on the road there might be a car breakdown there might be a traffic jam there might be a long waiting time due to border crossing you never know so at least you have everything with you so second of all it is important to carry uh, groceries and all the baby essentials with you because whenever we uh, got to a new place we didn't really know about the opening hours also we changed countries quite often we didn't know about the opening hours we didn't know if there's a restaurant or a shop nearby so at least we had all the important stuff with us um, to survive like one night let's say or two at least and um, what was also really important to have some in case of emergency groceries with us because we planned going out for dinner twice the little one wasn't unfortunately adapting to the new environment that much or like that well and um, so we couldn't go out for dinner anymore but at least we had some groceries with us um, we could cook like something at home what is or like in the place basically what is really great emergency food is like rice noodles tomato sauce milk oats and fruits so yeah so tip number three for road tripping with the baby is um your man you're so lucky if you're still breastfeeding i did when i um when we went on our trip and it was the most convenient thing ever you don't have to you know make sure you carry um, baby food you have sterilized bottles you have the right temperature for the formula and whatever you just like stop wherever you want to stop and off you, like here you go and also when we went exploring um, we always made sure that we had the car parked uh, somewhere nearby because then you could easily get back to the car feed the little one even change the diapers in the boot like every time when we were just like exploring and we had like the luggage in the house we just turned the boot into a changing diaper station and um, please make sure that um, it is not too cold outside because it was spring when we were traveling so the temperatures was, were like perfect um, but especially in Bosnia and Montenegro we didn't find like a single place where they had like you know those baby rooms on the toilet like those, those chain the diaper stations and stuff so having this option with the car was amazing and like just going to the car to breastfeed 
Amazing. So tip number four, stay over in apartments. Um, first of all, that is nice because you have a kitchen, you can prepare some food, you have a fridge, um, you can make some tea, um, whatsoever. And then second of all, we always had the second room where we could put the little one for a nap or for um, to sleep uh, while we were chilling in um, the kitchen. Um, there is where I blog, where I booked my places to stay that you can find in my blog post um, in the link um, underneath uh, the video. Um, where I booked my places, they also have this option to choose cribs, um, like a baby crib. And um, we sometimes we had um, a place with a baby crib. If we if we didn't have one, then we just booked a place where there's like three beds and we combined them. Please, if you do so, make sure the little one is not moving around yet. Otherwise, you must just get a place with a baby crib or you carry your own. If it's if she's not moving around yet, then it's cool. Um, but for safety reasons, um, I wouldn't recommend that. So my tip number five, um, stay over in apartments for at least two nights. Um, first of all, you're literally carrying your entire house. That's how it felt for us. So unpacking, um, packing, unpacking, loading the car, unloading the car becomes like super stressful at some point and it's also going to be like at some point stressful for the little one. Um, second of all, it is important because you also want to make sure that the little one is not like is adapting well to the trip and it's not going to get too fuzzy. Um, so also like staying over in a new place every night is really stressful for the little one. So. We tested everything from one up to three nights and I have to say stay over for at least two nights but perfect is actually staying over for three nights because that was yeah not like too stressful for us and for the little one was also super nice. Tip number six, um, carry on with your good night routine from home. Um, especially if you're traveling and staying over in different places you want to make sure the little one is fine and catching enough sleep. Um, what we did in order to make sure she is um, yeah, doing that um, we carried on with the good night routine from home. We usually at home um, we either bath or wash her. Um, she gets a little snack and um, we sing a lullaby and then she falls asleep uh, herself. And we also carried on with that during the trip and I have to say it worked out perfectly. My tip number seven, travel distances of max two hours a day. Why I'm saying this? Because we always ended up taking longer. Um, because of breaks, you know, breastfeeding, because of, oh, we stopped on the road for pictures. We uh, had to like waiting time because of border crossing traffic whatsoever. What we also completely underestimated was like just finding our place to stay. Um, like this turned into a mission for us twice that one time it took us like one and a half hours to just get to the place because nothing was working I'm talking about this right now in my next point like navigation and phone and whatsoever um, fortunately our little one was super chilled but it could have also been different but um, yeah I'm just saying keep the distances short tip number eight um, check out where you're going in advance that is really important especially if you're traveling in a country with a newborn also where people don't speak your language there are different navigational options um, that you can use um, you find um, the different options in my blog post um, the link is underneath the video, just check it out um, on, in the post. Um, also another tip, never rely on one option only, because a combination is actually what I found, a combination of all those options is the best thing you can do. What is also another tip I would like to share is that, um, especially if you're traveling in a country where people don't speak your language, get a few words in the local language, especially in the rural areas of Bosnia Herzegovina, it is rare to find people that speak English. So at least you have also you can't always rely that on if you have a Bosnian SIM card that the Wi-Fi coverage is good. So also have some words that you've learned or at least on a paper in case of emergency to 
let the locals help you out. Tip number nine, choose the right time for the drive. Um, we always made sure that um, we scheduled the drive uh, to our next destination during the regular nap time. So most of the time she was asleep and uh, we could get uh, to the destination without her being fussy or um, crying or whatsoever. Um, also for safety and entertainment reason, what we did is um, one of us was always sitting in the bed. And of course, especially if your little one is already a bit older or if they wake up, of course, always have some toys like for entertainment with you. Um, then at least um, the drive um, doesn't feel that long. And my tip number 10 is medical advice. What I did, I spoke to my child's doctor in advance explaining where we're going um, and she, um, fortunately there were no vaccinations and stuff that were needed, but um, yeah, she just gave me some nose drops and fever pills in case, you know, she's teething or whatsoever. So we could have at least um, handle that ourselves but of course if there's something serious what I also did um, I checked like every place that we were staying what is the number of the closest doctor and like the hospital and um, what was also nice of um, staying in apartments rented out by locals we always had like the owners of the apartment close by so in case of emergency they could have also helped us but um, yeah make sure you know where there is the next doctor, the emergency numbers and the hospital. And that's it. These are my 10 tips I wanted to share with you for like successfully road tripping, uh, traveling with a newborn slash baby. Um, yeah, if you liked my video, I would really appreciate if you give it a thumbs up. Um, if you um, haven't subscribed to my channel, then just uh, subscribe to my channel. And of course, please let me know in the comments which tip is it is that has worked for you. Because I'm always like, you know, happy to hear some advice. Um, other than that, yeah, um, have a nice day and we see each other soon.